I'm inside with Helen Mirren. Her new film, 100 for a Journey, she pay, plays Madame Mallory, a classic French chef and restaurant owner whose work is her life. Take a look. Last night, we served this. Miserable, overcooked asparagus. In this restaurant, the cuisine is not an old, tired marriage. It is a passionate affair of the heart. Very tough there, Dame <laughs> Helen Mirren, welcome. I love saying that, Dame. That must have been a wonderful moment. That was a great moment. You know, it, um, it's, it's a family moment. Uh, there are, you know, there are all these people, there are about 200 people who get honoured on all different levels. Dame and Sir is like the bed, the top, but then there are many other people. So everyone comes with their families and their kids and everybody's so proud <laughs> and so well dressed and it's very moving. It's I very cried happy, throughout yeah. the whole thing, yeah. Your character, Madame Mallory, uh, has been described as chilly, icy, snooty, stodgy, <laughs> prickly, sort particular. British, really. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you still took the role. <laughs> No, I mean, there is a particular kind of Frenchness, and I don't really, I'm a huge Francophile, so I'm, I hope I'm not insulting the French, but, but there, is a, there is a great pride in the French nation of being French, of everything that is French, the cuisine, the fashion, the language, the literature, the, the, the history. They're enormously proud of being French. There is, in fact, an organization that exists simply to protect the Frenchness and, of the and French. And as you say, so. you're a Francophile. You actually moved to France as a young actress, thinking that's where you're going to make your career? Well, yes, I wasn't so young, actually. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was probably in my sort of mid uh, late-ish 20s. Uh, yes, I wanted to be a French actress. I, um, I had a dream of being a sort of French actress. You know, Jeanne Moreau or Simone Signoret. And those sort of actresses seemed to have... Um, uh, I, I felt that I fitted better in that type of actress than I did at that time in sort of Western American British sort of idea. Of the world had another actress. idea for you I think. They did, the world yanked <laughs> me, you know, sometimes sometimes you can't make decisions, you know, life sort of grabs you by the neck and pulls you somewhere else. This movie is also in love with food, are you a chef? Uh, I'm, you know, I, I'm very very good at certain things. I make absolutely brilliant Marmite on toast, I do a very good baked beans on toast. I do a fabulous tomatoes on toast. My cheese on toast is famous well, you have in the range. world. Yeah, real range. <laughs> um, I'm not a great chef. No, I do a very good roast chicken for a, for a very good reason. But um, um, uh, but apart from that, I can't really cook anything. And I, and I love the whole idea of, of this film of the clashing and the crossing and the sharing between cultures. Yes, and the fact, I mean, what an incredible thing food is in our, in our um, culture, and I really advise anyone who goes to see this movie, it's a great date movie, M make a reservation in a restaurant to go to straight after, after the movie right. because you will be starving you will. and you will fall in love because it's, a, it's the most wonderfully sweet romantic movie and it makes you starvingly hungry. And if you can find an Indian French restaurant all the, all, <laughs> that would be all the better. You're yeah. coming back to Broadway as well, going to bring the audience to Broadway for yes, to be playing right, Queen yeah. Elizabeth again. I am, yes. I did it in London and it was um, very successful and, and they've um, asked us to do it here so we're going to have a go. She's such a fascinating character. Do you, as a, as, as a Brit, as growing up in, 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 in England, do you understand why we're so fascinated over in the United States with her and the royal family? Of course I do. I mean, we, we all share the same fascination, I think. I, I think anyway, monarchy, because it's behind this red velvet curtain, you know, that none of us can really penetrate, even as much as, as you know, with, nowadays with social media, we imagine everything is out there. But in fact, that is the sort of one area that is sort of still unknown. Um, and the fact of this incredible continuity of this woman for you know how 70 60 70 years it's been it's been extraordinary i'm very proud to have been a part of the second elizabethan age oh it's been a pleasure to watch dame helen Mirren, thanks very much